This is Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group. And with the news that came out yesterday and into the market today from Apple, is this just the start of something that's going to continue based on the coronavirus or possibility that it's just another buy opportunity? Markets lowered most of the day today on that Apple warning saying that they're going to miss the second quarter revenue guidance due to the coronavirus. Is this going to affect other supply chains as well? Well, throughout the day today, the Nasdaq fought back all day, even with Apple lower. You see Google and Netflix at all times highs, Microsoft almost there. And then earlier today also, we saw Walmart warning on the coronavirus as well, yet that stock is up 2% today. So like I said, Nasdaq actually eking out into the green today. We also see treasuries and gold up as well on that safe haven type of trade. So very disconnected marketplace. Continued dismal economic reports coming out of the Eurozone could be the catalyst for the dollar strength. Has been part of it why we've seen a big rally and you know the dollar has been that safe haven as well. ES option data on Friday, remember yesterday was a holiday, on Friday, 480,000 options traded 66% on the put side. Non-expiring option volume leaders from last Friday, the March 3200 put, 4,400 contracts. The March 3410 call, 3,900 contracts. March 3400 call, 3,300 contracts. And the March 3300 puts, 2,500 contracts. Volatility still pretty much in line, up a, a little bit today. But the ES options pricing in a move of about $29 to the end of day Friday. Now, Bitcoin, another massive move today on explosive volume here at the CME. Midday today, an explosive move literally from 9,500 surging up past 10,000. Volume here at CME today, 20,000 contracts. 9,500 was a significant area for support. And looking at the charts, the next major resistance level, besides a psychological round number of 10,500 or 11,000, is really up at 11,700. Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group.